channel if you're new here hey girl my name is Twee welcome to my YouTube channel so in today's video I created this really bright smoky eye on my channel I feel like I haven't done color on my channel in ages so I created this look using the brand new James X Morphe eyeshadow palette things didn't go according to plan but it's okay we made it work in the end <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I created this look please keep watching good morning guys it is eight o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna get the day started it feels like a Monday to me but it's a Wednesday guys, so I've just put on my skincare routine, nice and moisturised. I do have to let you guys know that this is my skin one month into Rakuten. I still have another five months to go, so I'm going to be on it for six months in total. But today was the first time I woke up and my skin was so clear. Well, this is the clearest my skin has ever been for me. I still have acne scarring here. It's literally all flat and there's no spots on my skin at the moment. I'm just like... Wow. So we're going to go in with the Heliocare Air Gel. Okay, so this is what the air gel looks like. It looks like a mousse. You're meant to wear SPF every single day, guys, even in the winter time. So this SPF is really nice and smooth. They also have an oil-free version. So if you are super oily, go for that SPF because that one dries really, really quickly. My skin's actually quite dry at the moment, so I wanted something with a bit more moisture to it, you know, the moistness. Okay, so for foundation today, we're going to be going in with the Jure Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in a new shade that I just got. It's called Honey Beige. However, because this foundation is super, super matte and my skin literally sucks up any oil that I have at the moment because of Rakuten, I'm going to go in with the Toucha Dewy Skin Mist first. I would only suggest that spray if you have normal to dry skin. If you've got oily skin, it might make you a bit too oily, you know. So the Honey Beige is super nice because it's meant to be more olive toned which it is, which I'm so happy about. And I love this foundation because it gives such good coverage and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all, but it's really, really long wearing. I'm having such a good time with my teeth at the moment. They are so straight. Look at them guys, they're so freaking straight. If you guys don't know, I have a whole video story time about why I decided to get braces. So you guys can check that out on my channel. But I have the incognito braces which just go inside my teeth and I really love it because no one ever knows that I have braces on. I've had them for over a year now, which is so crazy. I remember when they first told me I needed to go on it for like 16 months. I was like, that's like over a year? And now literally a year has gone by now. So time has gone so quickly. I go to a place called 10 Dental and they have loads of locations. I go to the one in Bellum and I go to Annika and she is a specialist in incognito braces if you guys are ever thinking to get braces honestly it's the best thing ever you just feel so much more confident smiling now i always smile on my instagram videos now i don't feel self-conscious i was looking back at some of my old videos and my teeth were so narrow it looked like bunny teeth my smile now has gone so much broader as well and like when i smile you can actually see teeth now before you can only see the top four teeth yeah i'm just so so happy with everything it's so worth it and the consultation is free as well so i'll leave the link to them down below if you guys are interested in them okay so foundation is on and honestly this is such a good color i feel like the dewy skin mist definitely made a finish on my skin because my skin is hella glowy actually and normally the foundation is very matte so good for the dry skin bitches like me so i'm gonna go in with the tarte shape tip concealer in light medium i haven't used this concealer in so long but it's a really really good concealer i just feel like there's been so many other launches of concealer that's why it's been pushed to the back of the drawer but i'm bringing it back out okay i'm just putting this just underneath my eyes you guys know the deal okay i'm just gonna use my beauty blender again on the other side i just blend all that out okay guys so it's powder time now i'm gonna go in with this little gem right here it's one of my favorite powders at the moment it's the secret brightening powder from laura mercier i actually use this all over my face because honestly it makes your skin so flawless and poreless which is great i'm gonna use my little pocket rocket beauty blender thingy so i'm just gonna make sure all my creases are blended up before i set it because you don't want to be setting no creased up concealer you know okay so now that my face is all set i'm gonna go in with this little palette from mac it is a contour and highlight palette for medium dark skin i'm gonna go in with this shade called shade star so if you guys don't want to get the whole palette you can actually just buy shade star on its own at a pro store and I just washed my brushes yesterday, so they're super nice and fluffy. I love a good washed brush. The shade the color is really nice because it's super warm. Do you guys just love a bronze face? Like bronze contour. Mm. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to go with this little 
baby hustler baby kilowatt highlighter from fenty beauty so freaking cute this actually came in a little set with the fenty glow lip gloss and i just thought oh my god this is just the cute thing ever and i actually have the full size of one of this already but i only ever use hustler baby so so cute that it comes in its own little mini and you get the gloss with it and that's one of the best lip glosses ever oh yes glow baby glow mm -mm. Glow, baby glow. Okay, so I just applied on my eyebrows and I have a whole tutorial on that, so make sure you check that out on my channel. It's already linked down below in the description box. So in today's video, it's super exciting because I finally got my hands on a James Charles palette. Woo! I've been dying to get my hands on this for ages and it was actually delivered to my local corner shop and I had no notification or anything and then Gran was just popping by and just popped in and asked if I had any packages and this was sitting there for me, so thanks UPS. So this is the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette and I just love the visual of it. I think it's super, super cool. So here is the palette. Oh, you guys know that I love the 39A from Morphe so much. It's one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes and this is a similar size to the 39A, so it's so exciting. But this one is full of colour. I know this is probably quite late and there's so many videos on this palette already but this is literally the first time I'm going to try it out. I feel like a colourful palette is really really missing on the market especially like a big one like this with loads and loads of colours so I'm so excited to test this out in a video today. I do have to say that I swatched some of the shimmers and they wasn't that pigmented. I feel like I really want to try out these purpley kind of shades so maybe we'll try a bit of that because it's really hard to find a good purple. The only thing I do have to say is I hate it when brands bring Bring out these little sheets and stuff because I'm like who the hell is gonna keep this I feel like it's gonna be really annoying because I'm gonna have to keep holding this up here so I can see what the shade is so we're gonna start off with this shade I think it's called Mary and I'm just gonna work this right on side of the crease I have to do a quick look today guys because I need to be getting going but we're gonna do a quick colorful look this used to be one of my looks when Ever, I had no idea what eyeshadow to wear and I just wanted a bright colour. So I feel like it's a proper throwback for me today and I haven't done this look on my channel yet. Okay, so this colour is blending out nicely. I'm using the JH30 brush. I didn't put no eyeshadow base on or anything like that so we're going to really test out these eyeshadows today. Okay, and then on my eyes I'm going to go in with a bit of escape and mix with a bit of single. The only thing about purples though is that they normally stain your eyes. So I don't know if this palette stains my eyes but you have to be careful whenever you wear purples. So you know a lot of these Instagram accounts they normally apply on like a wet eyeshadow base and they never powder their base or anything like that but I'm just like oh, I can't do it guys. I tried to do it the other day and it was just really hard to blend out like it was just so sticky but I know that's a good way to make your eyeshadow pop a bit more this purple is a little bit patchy okay let's just try to keep blending I need to make it work guys I haven't got time to be dealing with that patchiness the best purple that I've ever tried is from sugar peel it's their poison plum and that is hands down the best purple but it's so long because it's in like a little quad palette and i want it in like a big palette i don't want to have to keep opening up loads of palettes okay so i'm trying to build up that purple but I don't know if you guys can see this little bit here is a little bit patchy okay it's getting better slowly working it inside the crease Woo we're getting there guys the color is coming along you guys i'm so annoyed i'm trying to blend out this other eye literally just with that escape color and it's so patchy. I have no idea how to make it work. Maybe I should have done the sticky eyeshadow base. That would have made it work. I normally apply eyeshadows with no eyeshadow bases like nearly all of the time. So can you guys see? It's not blending out. Ugh. I do not want to be one of those annoying videos that's like trying to pick apart a palette. Because I'm just like such a Morphe fan. But like... Oh my god, I don't know why it's going so patchy, like the pigment isn't sticking on. So you guys know for my eyeshadow palette, I actually wanted a purple in there originally. And we went through like, I think two or three purples and they just wasn't up to my standards. So in the end, I scrapped putting the purple shade in because I'm not just going to put a purple shade in if it's shit, just because I want a purple, you know? Okay guys, so I had to make it work by adding black eyeshadow to it. Because I'm running out of time, I'm just going to like cheat a little bit and I'm going to go with the Marc Jacobs Wave Length Eyeliner. And I'm going to put this all over as an eyeshadow base because I need this next shade to work because ain't no more got no time to be freaking trying to blend out no blue eyeshadow. 
So I'm basically putting blue all over the lid and I'm going to blend it into the purple. I'm just going to use my finger just to like buff out any edges of the pencil. Oh my god, why is this bin opening and closing? Oh my god, this pencil is so fucking dry. I think I left the lid off it the last time I used it and now it's like all dried up. Wipe the finger on my trouser. You know, how's you do? Okay, so I'm gonna go in this shade called Acapella. This is a shimmery shade, so hopefully it'll blend on really nicely. Especially if I use a base, it should grip on really, really well. So I'm just gonna pat this all over and try to blend it into that purple, just by slowly going up higher with less product on my brush. Okay, hopefully this blue can save this purple eyeshadow. Okay, just on top of that, I'm gonna go back in with the purple shade in the palette, and I'm gonna go over where the blue and the purple me. Hopefully it's gonna blend it together. Oh my god, why is it going so patchy? Oh my god, and this is my good side as well, so I need to make this side look great. Oh my god, why is it patched out? Ah! I'm using a shade called Cola. Why would that be Cola though? It's a blue shade, I don't know why it's called Cola. I might be getting the whole matte situation wrong right now, but I had to use a bit of this matte blue shade here just to try to blend out that crease a little bit and try to save this patchiness, but there's like literally patches everywhere. This eye is a bit better. I'm so tempted to go get my sugar peel palette and fix it, but I feel like that won't be good for this review. Just know, in the real life, I would be reaching out for my Poison Plum eyeshadow by Sugar Peel to fix this mess. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a bit more wavelength on my lash line and just repeat the process underneath my eyes as well, just to blend it out so it matches the top. I feel like by the time I put lashes on, hopefully it will save this look. It is so annoying, guys, when you leave your house and you feel like your makeup's not on point. Maybe I'll try this palette with a different look because maybe it was just the purple. Okay, I'm gonna go in a bit more of this blue shade here. Mix with a bit of this. I'm trying to blend out this blue and make the blue a bit stronger. And then I'm just gonna buff it around the edges with a bit of that purpley shade. So it blends on top as well. So it's super smoky all over. Okay, so I'm just picking up a bit of this shade called Artistry. I'm just popping this a little bit on my inner corners just so that it kind of ties in the purple a bit. So it's not so blue on my eyes, you know? And I feel like this look is a little bit dark, so I might pop a little bit of like a bright blue on the inner corners. I'm gonna go with this shade here, I think it's called Hello. I love blues like this, so hopefully it's gonna just pop out on my inner corners just a little bit. Does that look nice or did I just ruin the look? Oh, so annoying! Maybe we just need to put some glitter on this look. That blue did not come out nice at all. It was hardly any pigment in that one. Okay, let's put a bit of confetti glitter by Lime Crime. Glitter fixes everything, guys. You see that? Just that pop, just makes it pop a bit more. Okay, just a little bit of glitter on in the corners. Hopefully it fixes that up. Okay, so I'm gonna go in eyeliner next, and maybe if we do a big fat wing, we can kind of like blend everything together. So I'm gonna go in with this brand new eyeliner, which I'm so excited to try. It's the Fenty by Rihanna Fly Liner. So. Let's go eyeliner. I love it when I find a new eyeliner pen. Oh, it's nice and black as well. It's great. Oh Yes, the nib is nice and fine really inky as well Which is amazing because it's the worst when you get an eyeliner and it's like the ink is hardly coming out Okay, I'm gonna flick out the wing. Oh My god, this pen is amazing That wing just went Shoo! Okay, I'm just trying to make this eyeliner a bit thicker, just so that it helps this eyeshadow a bit. Nice, really black. Wow, I'm impressed. Yes, Fenty. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some mascara, some lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Ella lashes by Lily Lashes, and they're super nice and fluffy and wispy as well. And these lashes are so beautiful. They're really nice and wispy, and they even look nice even when you don't wear eyeliner as well. So, okay, my eyes are done. They look a bit better now that I've got eyeliner, a bit of glitter, lashes, you know. Lashes fix everything. If you fucked up on your eyeshadow, just stick a pair of big lashes on and you'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly line my lips with Spice by MAC. I love Spice by MAC, this is the best lip colour ever. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Day Slayer by Huda Beauty. It's the one of the Demi MAC. I haven't used these in ages, but they're super nice and creamy and doesn't dry out your lips. It's like a satin lipstick, but I just want it a little bit more glossy. So I'm gonna go in with this Social Butterfly by Jordan Woods and Too Faced. Just a bit of gloss. Oh, this really reminds me of like the Fenty Glow Gloss. Just gonna add a little bit to the center of my lip just to make it a bit juicier. Perfect, okay, so I'm just gonna quickly get changed and I'll be back, woo! 
Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out the new James Charles palette for the first time ever. Overall, my review is I love the idea of the palette. I think it's such a big gap in the market, like a big, fat, colourful palette. And I love the fact it's got a black in here. It's got loads and loads of different colours and neutral tones in here as well. I just felt like the purple was really, really patchy and hard to blend out, which I'm so, so sad about because I honestly genuinely want to love this palette so much and I'm always so supportive of any beauty blogger that gets to collaborate with a huge brand such as Morphe. So let me know if you want me to film maybe a more neutral look using this palette because maybe those eyeshadows would blend out a lot better. So let me know if you want me to film another video retrying out the James Charles palette because I really want to love you. I do. I do, I do, I do. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, what are you doing, girl? Subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And also follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. <coughs> Shit, I have an hour to get ready. Quick! Patchy McPatchins up in here. Patch, patch, patch. Should have 15 minutes. Ah! I haven't done my liner, lashes or lips yet. Oh my god guys, I am so stupid. I had to leave my house to 11 and I was rushing, rushing, rushing because I thought it was nearly like 11 o'clock. Bitch, it's only 10 so I have a whole hour to kill. What the hell? Time to pose, I guess. <laughs>